Hey y'all, this is Ashley from Stroll and Soda Pops. I wanna do a little bit of a different video today. I'm gonna to be telling you our top 10 baby gear items that have lasted us throughout the years. We've been parents for about seven years now and we have spent a lot of money on baby things. So if we can help you save a little money in the long run, tell you things that have lasted us really well, great quality, really serve their purpose, then we wanna help. We're gonna do a couple of honorable mentions as well. So hopefully this video will be helpful for you. If there's anything that you have loved that you wanna share, please do leave that in the comments so we can hear about your parenting journey and maybe try something new. Okay, let's get right into it. Number one in no particular order is our Nuna Pippa infant car seat. We have used this for three years now and still have four more years to use it. It's held up so well. High quality, can be used without a base, perfect for travel. We've used it across many strollers and wagons. It's just a fantastic car seat for your baby. For big kids, we love the Graco Slim Fit LX. It's slender enough to fit three across and it's affordable. Next are our favorite baby shoes. These are thin profile so your baby can feel the floor as they're walking. They're also rubber on the bottom so they're non-slip. So good for new walkers who are just getting their footing. We only use these now for our babies once they start walking because it really is like a natural feeling for them. They have a bunch of super cute designs. You can find them on Etsy. You can also find them on Amazon, but I highly recommend purchasing from Etsy, specifically this store called Mountain Republic. They have fantastic customer service. We're repeat customers and they have a good selection on there and they often have something there like free shipping. So definitely check them out. We love their shop and we're going to be buying from them again. Next is the Skip Pop Diaper Caddy. It has tons of pockets for organization, but the game changer is the light that's built into the handlebar for nighttime diaper changes. We've had this white noise machine for two years now. It's chargeable, so it's great for travel, it's great for home, and it's great for things like power outages. Highly recommend. I've done way too much research on these and we love it. If your kids are crazy like mine, then you might need a crib tent because my kids will get out of their crib. They jump around, cause havoc in their room. So this thing provides safety and provides a good night's sleep for me and my husband. It has a pocket right there for your camera if you use one, and it has this really great generous opening. There are other styles that have bigger openings, but cannot recommend this highly enough. The slumber pot is another one of our travel essentials. Between this and the white noise machine, we are so much more confident in traveling with our kids. Next is our Tula baby carrier. We also have the toddler size. And I baby wear a lot when babies are little. It's so easy to have them close by. You can even nurse in there. So it's very convenient, very comfortable. They can ride in a couple of different ways and just be close to you, especially if it's cold. We also have a Lily Baby, which is great too. This clock has made sharing a room between our two boys so much easier. My oldest now knows that he cannot get out of bed or get his brother out of bed until the ball turns green. And so they get up at the exact same time every morning, no fights. It's amazing. We bought our first Pronto stroller in 2018 when we lived in Korea. And we have now every model that they sell. We have every accessory that they sell. It's just amazing. I mean, it has such a high weight limit. It's so compact, great for travel, great for shopping, great for nursing in public. I put the blackout shade on. It's so discreet. Cannot recommend these enough. We're going to keep them until our kids are in college. A tiny flashlight might seem like a strange thing to include given the topic of this video. However, my husband uses this for everything. It's so small. He keeps it in his pocket all the time so he can use it for bedtime. If we need like a middle of the night diaper change, he puts it on a dim setting. He uses it to distract my baby when I need to clip her toenails or her fingernails and she doesn't want to sit still. I mean, in the night, if we need to check on the kids, it's fun. Like right before bedtime, he'll do like a night, a light show, he'll put it on strobe and they have like a disco dance party. It's used for so many things in our parenting life. So I know it's kind of a weird off the wall recommendation, but I swear we really get our money's worth out of these things. For our first honorable mention, we have this cute little penguin baby teether. If your little one has a bad latch like mine and can't hold a pacifier, this thing will do the trick. She loved it and it is super cute. Honorable mention number two, ma'am pacifiers and baby gold passy leashes. These are the only pacifiers my kids would ever take and the passy leash will save your sanity when you're in public and they want to throw their pacifier to the ground. They have many cute designs for both brands and different age ranges for the pacifiers. Last but not least, we have the Baby Bjorn Bouncer. It's so easy to wash, it's extremely compact and very high quality. It's a great investment, especially if you plan to use it for multiple children. 
Links for these items will be in the description below. Don't forget to tell us in the comments things that you love that weren't on this list. Thank you for subscribing and supporting our channel. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.